Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me. You're going to kill one of the recently called daily uh, weekly contest uh, number of different integers in the string. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. I think this problem, I actually took a little bit of time. I took about three minutes on this problem, which, to be honest, I feel like it's a easy, I mean, it is a easy problem in the classification but one thing that I was very worried about was the number zero because uh, I was doing some parsing things on its own and I was worried that if I you know d differentiate the number zero and the number I don't know maybe I worried a little bit too much but I actually end up uh, using group by which is a little bit hacky but um, so maybe don't try this at home but I'll go over my explanation a little bit and otherwise it's just you know being careful um, here I actually can pre-cat it or pre-cat um, but I prefix it with you know uh, characters just in case I needed it on the borders to keep track but I should end up not but yeah I just have a have, have a set which is neat, you know used for this number and then I have a group by this is already this is way uh, I, I don't recommend doing this at work or you know um, but for competitive and maybe for fun is fine but basically groups by this uh, is alpha function so that no, basically it, it converts a number like or a string like this from true, false, 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 true, true, false, false, right? So then it goes by that value, and if it's not the first, and it returns two things. One is the value that it groups by, which in this case is the result of its alpha, so it's either true or false. And y is just the 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 characters that um corresponds to that grouping. Uh, in this case. We yeah we convert the characters back to a string and then we convert it to an integer because we know that this is you know this is these are all numbers and yeah and we convert it to an int and then we put in a set so th then we don't have to worry about leading zeros I I don't th I think maybe it's still okay about leading zeros if you watch me solve it during the contest um um you're gonna see actually me uh trying to do it the quote unquote the the right way maybe I don't know depending on you want to say it um but then i was worried about leading zeros that's why i kind of switched halfway and that's why i took about three minutes uh yeah let me know what you think about this problem uh this is linear time the group by is going to be linear because it just does a linear scan and here it's 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 um it's not all of one because this join it, but it goes through each but you look at it as the sum of each character will be um in as part of this function one so amortized it's going to be uh, li uh linear in total so yeah and then you just get the length of the set at, at the very end so it's gonna be uh yeah linear time uh i guess linear space kind of um so yeah let me know what you think about this farm and you can watch me solve it live during the contest next so let's do this go 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 Merci.
yeah, uh, let me know what you think about this farm and explanations. This isn't really my final ranking. There's way more penalties because I just, I don't know, I ate too many uh, too wrong answer attempts. But yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and join me on Discord. Uh, hope y'all have a good day, have a good night, solve more problems if you like, or, you know, too many ACs. And yeah, to good mental health. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.